is one of the most dreaded and destructive creatures on earth. The very name evokes a predominant shudder in humankind that is echoed in the story of Moses and the eighth plague of Egypt. Just as the Bible describes it, a swarm of locusts can break a path of destruction that brings terror, famine, disease, and death. What's terrifying is not the individual, it's the numbers. This swarm can starve an entire nation. Farmers in eastern Kenya's Kitui County are running out of time. They were invaded by millions of desert locusts that used their farms to breed. Now the hopers are about to mature, and if the farmers don't kill them all before they develop wings, then this second generation of locusts that have already devoured tens of thousands of hectares of vegetation across East Africa will cause even more devastation. <laughs> If they mature before we are done killing them, they will overwhelm us. They came here in large swarm. We could not kill them because they were flying. So we are trying to finish the hoppers before they can fly. This infestation of desert locusts first arrived in East Africa last June, feeding on hundreds of thousands of hectares of crops and pasture land, and chomping a path of destruction through at least eight countries, Kenya, Uganda, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and Sudan. The responses telling of the inexperience of dealing with these pests, from firing in the air, tear gassing them, beating drums, screaming, and whistling, all in a bid to salvage the little left. Scientists say these devastating insects never left East Africa. In fact, favorable wet conditions due to the above average rainfall this season means they are likely to achieve two generations of new breeding by June this year, increasing their population size up to 400 times. In Kenya, the locust maturation is coinciding with the onset of the rainy season. Farmers have been sowing crops of maize, beans, sorghum, barley and millet during March and April in hopes that a favorable rainy season will allow for abundant growth during late April and May. With the locust swarms gaining size and strength, experts fear that up to 100% of farmers' budding crops could be consumed, leaving some communities with nothing to harvest. Kama mbegu hili umeona hapa ya nyanya nikiweka ni 34,000, only 100 grams, 34,000. Tasa nikiweka hiyo ni chini, alavu hiyo nzige ikuje ikule. FAO is working with governments and teams from non-governmental organizations to conduct massive aerial pesticides spraying campaigns throughout the region. It hopes the locusts can be controlled temporarily until southerly winds and the dry season pushes them north in June and July. But COVID-19 poses a challenge to control activities. Disruptions to supply chains have stalled delivery of pesticide shipments, creating stockouts and shortages. Somalia is three weeks behind in receiving a shipment of biopesticides for locust control due to COVID-19 delays. Surveillance equipment, such as helicopters from South Africa, cannot reach East Africa because of lockdowns in countries where the world would normally stop to refuel on their journeys north. Honestly, yes, there's a concern because this means restricted movement. And restricted movement uh, means uh, in areas where specialists who are supposed to come also in assist in the control efforts from other countries, there's no restriction on who can come in t or travel to certain countries because of the curfews, lockdowns and the likes. If control activities fail and the locusts do not move out of the region, FAO fears that up to an additional 5 million people could become food insecure in East Africa by June of this year.